What's going on everyone? My name is TJB123 and before I begin my uh, white PS4 Destiny unboxing adventure I wanted to give you a quick bonus video and that is a tour of what my PS Vita looks like. Um, this is the original model with 3D that is that I won from GameSpot near when it was first launched and so here we go um... There's the lovely black heart on my um, lock screen. And uh, something to note, um, the only physical copy games that I have are Final Fantasy X, um, Conception 2, and Hyper Dimension Neptunia PP. So here we go, I'm going to show you all the wallpapers while you're seeing Noir right there. It's a screenshot taken from Neptunia PP in her DLC costume, or swimsuit I should say. There's my social folder. Well, I'm not going into live areas, but you know. That PS4 link app is going to be very useful very soon. That is Tori from Conception 2. Yes, I do have Fantasy Star Portable 2, which is not normally downloadable or transferable to the PS Vita, but since Sony fucked up the one time where they turned everything PSP related on and made them compatible for Vita, that, well, that's how I got it. Of course, I can't delete it, because, well, you know, they fixed it. Don't know why I have the one game in that folder, but whatever. And this is the um, one of the um, harem ending CDs that you get when you see the harem ending in Conception 2, just the trophies app. And that is, well, Velocity Ultra. That is Celica, and that's kind of a zoomed in screenshot from the uh, Vita exclusive scenario of Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma. Mutant Muds, Paint Park Plus, Final Fantasy X and X2. Well, X2 would be there if it is downloaded, which it's not. And there's Blackheart again. And inside my Neptunia folder, there's PP, which I told you is a. Damn it, focus. Which is a physical copy because I got the limited edition and Neptunia Rebirth 1, which I would have got the limited edition if Idea Factory and Nestle didn't fuck us all over, so I got the download copy instead. And to prove it. Yeah. And all the other Neptunia games will be going in this folder, like Rebirth 2 and the Wars game. Neptunia U. And of course, I also have Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma. And there's Conception 2. Again. Bye bye. And um, the background is one of the um, background illustrations from Mind Zero. Final Fantasy, um, was it Origins and 5? Some of the PS1 games that I have, Chrono Trigger, Castlevania, C Chronicles, Pac-Man World 20th Anniversary, and Cyberbots Full Metal Madness, which I must remind you is, ah, I was trying to get that thing off of there, is a um, Japanese import. So yeah, I can't read Japanese, but I enjoy the fighting. It was released in English in arcades way back in the day, but... That hasn't gotten a re-release like it probably should have on the PS3, like Marvel vs. Capcom and Marvel Super Heroes did. <laughs> the fighting games, that is. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. Um, my um, iPod's battery just died on me, but um, anyway, I forget why what, what I was last talking about, but whatever. Um, anyway, here is um. Chloe's uh, last or ending CG from Conception 2 
uh, with Metrico, by Singing Monsters, and the Bessie Fish, as I like to call it. You know, Bessie Fish, get it? <laughs> Screw the fish. And lastly, here is a blank wallpaper screen cut filled with all the games I just recently downloaded on. It's like TXK, D Joe Danger, Velocity 2X, the Street Fighter Alpha series, and Mega Man X4. And yes, I did name this folder Cap Kapov because I like seeing it like that. You know. Anyway, folks, I will see you in my. Destiny PS4 unboxing adventure. Or should I say the white PS4? Ah, whatever.